For Manchester firefighter Mike Palmer, the heartbreak he felt after the death of his 17-year-old daughter Beth to suicide back in 2020 has been channeled into an act of remembrance that has captured the imagination of the whole country. Alongside two other dads, Tim Owen and Andy Airy, who also lost daughters to suicide, they decided to walk across the country in aid of suicide awareness. I've come to meet Mike at St Anne's, his family church in Sale, Greater Manchester. Mike, thank you so much for meeting with me today to chat. Tell me about Beth. <sighs> Larger than life, character, really. Wonderfully talented singer. She could dance. She belonged on stage, really. You know, ne nearly every day was a stage for her. Beth is one of those people that you would never thought would ever take their own lives. For some people whose loved ones have taken their own life, there's a lot of guilt associated with it. You know, if only maybe I should have seen all those kind of questions. Were those some of the questions you asked yourself as well? Absolutely. You know, you it's complex grief. There's so many different aspects of complex grief. And uh, indeed, guilt is one of those things. But also, anger is another aspect as well. I'm still angry at Beth because she didn't reach out. You know, she had help all around her, but also I'm angry at myself for missing maybe some of the language she used, but also some of her behaviour. I think they were probably um, signs that she, she was struggling. So this complex grief that you say, these feelings of guilt and anger and the death of your little girl, what do you do with that? What, what are your coping mechanisms? Initially, when I lost Beth, basically I was plunged into a spiral of, uh, of contemplating suicide myself. I mean, to be quite honest, it went further than contemplation. I attempted suicide and basically I wanted to die. Things come along to help you get through day by day. My GP, she picked up everything that I said. She sought to teach herself so she could support me. And she was brilliant, but you do need support off the GP. Where's God in all this? Because you've got every right to be angry at God if you need to be, aren't you? Oh, yes. The truth is, I don't blame God in all this. I think free will plays a part here. If we believe in a heaven and Beth is with God, I want God to look after Beth, to keep her safe. I mean, it'll be keeping her safe till I get up there and obviously tell her off. <laughs> tell me about Tim and Andy. They're both bereaved fathers like myself and sometimes you need someone who's suffered the same to understand how you feel channeling their grief into the hope of achieving something positive. In 2021, the three dads walked 300 miles between their homes from Cumbria via Manchester to Norfolk in aid of Papyrus, the national charity for the prevention of young suicide. They followed this up in 2022 by walking twice that distance between the parliaments of all four nations of the UK, taking their fundraising total to more than a million pounds. People were seeking us out to come and tell us their stories and a lot of these people they hadn't talked about it maybe to do with the stigma maybe it's a taboo subject as we worked our way down the country the money kept pouring in that was incredible our girls beth sophie and emily never far from our minds but when you're listening to other people telling you about their precious children it's you put your grief to one side slightly. What good has come out of this awful situation? We believe that the things we're pushing, that we're pushing a petition to the government to introduce far more on suicide prevention into schools. Suicide is the biggest killer of under 35s in the UK. I had absolutely no idea. Nearly 200 school children are lost every year to suicide. Again, I had no idea. 
Beth loved her music, didn't she? She was a great singer and a huge talent. Tell me about the music and the hymns that are important to you. At Beth's funeral, we played Queen. She absolutely loved Queen. But I think hymn-wise, the one that means a lot to myself, my wife and family, is Make Me a Channel of Your Peace. <laughs> 